Hey, what's up, everybody? Jonathan here, back on Rockwood. Uh, I had to back away a little bit from that sawmill. It's kind of loud over there, so I wanted to be able to have everybody hear me because I have some good news and some bad news. <clears throat> well, first of all, I guess we'll go with the good news, uh, and that is the very next video that you see on my channel, which will be uh, Wednesday, June the 14th, is going to be the Pacific Inlet High Speed Logging number three, and uh, so I've uh, put quite a few hours into that. In fact, I calculated it up last night, and I've got about oh, 20, 20, I think it was 22 hours, 22, 23 hours, something like that. So I mean, nearly a, a whole day of playing this game, and uh, video already recorded. I just got to process it into the high speed logging video, but. Uh, the bad news is that I didn't get it all cut that I wanted to. That that ended up being quite a bit of timber uh, just on the north half of that strip of timber I was planning on cutting. And uh, so, I mean, I worked and worked. and In fact, I've still got just a little bit more to go before I probably need to put maybe another hour or two into it to actually get all the trees cut and skid it up. Uh, if I even get that, I mean, I'll probably just go through there and cut all the trees and then skid them up a little bit later. But, you know, we'll be doing another uh, high speed logging video pretty soon. Uh, probably, we'll probably cut some more on that Cerna Pass area down towards the sawmill. And then uh, we'll probably move to a different spot, set up and get going. And then once we get going again on a new spot, we'll do another high speed logging video. But uh, we're back here on Rockwood today. And. We do have a pallet of wood ready to go, so we'll get that loaded up and delivered and sold. It seems kind of funny that we're, we just load up one pallet of wood at a time, but it takes so long for these things to get made. It'd be sitting here on the truck for several videos. So let's see, where are we at now? See, it takes 4,000 uh, to fill up one pallet. We're only at 500, so we still got a long way to go. But uh, anyway, I. Uh, Let's see, let's go ahead and get this down to the cell point. We'll do that anyway. We need some more money anyway. We got a few video, a few uh, pieces of equipment on this uh, map, and we'll need a little bit of operating cost in case we have to buy anything else for any reason. Yeah, in case you're wondering about uh, Rattlesnake Valley, I haven't played it much lately. Um, I'm, I'm kind of uh, undecided at the moment about that map. Because uh, I was hoping to be able to use the big fields and plant a bunch of trees and make big plantations out of it. But the game apparently will not let you... Uh, will not let you plant any more trees because there's already too many on the map is of what I'm what I'm reading and what I'm guessing. So I'm kinda undecided if I want to continue on that map or not. I really like the map. Uh, I like the size of it. I've been following a guy on Facebook that's making a 16x map and it's ridiculous. It's gonna be huge. All right, there it goes. Yeah, I was wondering if it was going out, but I wasn't watching the money up there going going up. So yeah, I'm not really sure just yet what I'm gonna do about Rattlesnake Valley. 
Um, I may play it some more and cut a bunch of trees and grind up the stumps and then see if it'll let me plant anything after I do all that. I've already cut a, a few, not a whole lot, but a few. Uh, maybe uh, maybe a hundred or so trees. And I was thinking that once I got to that point that it would let me plant some, but it didn't. Uh, the other option I have is to maybe grab another map uh, that actually has fields and stuff and you know, maybe even the, the base or the, the stock maps that came with the game. Uh, what is it, Sosnovica or whatever the heck it is. And uh, the uh, Goldcrest Valley, I don't know, I may grab one of those and just go to town planting trees. I'm not really sure. Uh, then again, I could take another map uh, that's... Uh, of course, the only only thing is you got to make sure it's got sawmills and all that. Most of them do. Uh, most of the guys that do uh, the maps make it for both agriculture and forestry, but that's something to consider. So I'm still undecided at this point. Alright, we got a, quite a few wood chips in there. Let's go ahead and grab our bucket and uh, get some wood chips transferred over so that we don't have to worry about that for a while. We just have to remember not to drive in there too far. <laughs> we did that one time and got the bucket hung up in there. We've already got some wood chips in there, okay. Oops. And we dumped them out. I wonder if I left the uh, <laughs> if I left the bucket under that where the wood chips are spouting out of there, I wonder if it would fill up the bucket instead of the bunker. <laughs> mm. Alright, that should get us close, if not completely full. Yep, completely full, okay, good. And our logs over here are still going strong. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Uh, we put these logs in here, what, several videos ago, and they're still going, so I'm thinking we'll have enough uh, logs in there for about two years, so when you come back, whenever uh, Farming Simulator uh, 2019 comes out, uh, we'll still be making wood pallets over here. <laughs> in fact, I'm, I'm probably going to either start chipping up the uh, wood that we have cut, or... Uh, selling them at the well I don't like selling them at the uh, at the water cell point because it's so hard to get the trailer back in there but anyway let's get busy over here let's see where where are we even at I haven't played this since forever um, oh yeah we got this tree right here we need to deal with let me see if I can get that out of here when we first got set up I had this tree over here And uh, I was trying to just get it out of the way. So let's see if we can't grab this thing and move it around. moved over here so we'd have more room and it looks like we still don't have enough room. Alright, come on. I hate it when the grapple gets caught in the back of the skitter. Oh yeah, that's good. Just shove it over there. There we 
we go. That stump was causing me some problems. Okay, now this could be a bit of an issue here, is getting it out of here. I probably should have just cut it up with the chainsaw. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, I was get caught up on that machine. Alright, we just get the machine out of the way and that should fix it. See if we can go down here somewhere and turn around with it. Well, I don't think that's going to work. Maybe. No. Hmm, well, we're just not having much luck with this tree. Oh, it's hung on the fence, okay. Well, I think this tree right here may have been in the way, too, so let's just get that out of here. Still hung on the fence. Okay, well, we can do that. We can uh, take care of that too. Well, this just isn't going too well for us. Uh, the slightest little thing it gets hung up on. Oh well. I'm just going to leave it alone right now. We'll get it later. Wasting too much time on it anyway. We'll just get down here and get busy cutting some more trees or something. Got another tree in the way over here. Let's 
should be able to pull this one around where we can process it though. Yeah, that 16x map that uh, that guy's working on, I'll try to remember to put that in the description below so you can kind of follow along if you want to. I've been watching his Facebook page. Uh, he claims that even though it's a 16x map, it won't be very big in file size. You know, it won't be 5 gigs or something file size. I downloaded a Northwest Texas map and it was, I think, almost 2 gigs. <laughs> Huge file. Yeah, and it gets caught on the stump. Oh, it's always something. I hate those stumps. Oh, this ain't working out at all. Alright. We're not having any luck pushing these trees around today. But the thing is, I gotta get it out of the way because I need to skid up some more logs right there. I'm just running around in circles today. Uh, we still have the uh, John Deere fellow buncher over there. I'm going to swap that out. Uh, in some other videos, I've switched it out back to the uh, FDR Loggins uh, Tiger Cat looking fellow buncher that uh, I guess it's 822, I think. Anyway, I like it better. I never have figured out why on that John Deere that I kept uh, the, the camera, or then no, the, the cab kept tilting on me. I don't know why I can't. Couldn't ever figure that out. So we'll swap that back out to the uh, FDR one. Oh my goodness, we're just not having any luck today with skidding. None whatsoever. It's so tight in here. I think I think I need to cut down some more trees. So I'll tell you what, let's do this. Uh, we're not having any luck skidding, so let's... Uh, Go ahead and sell that John Deere. Uh, but you know what? I may not have enough to buy the uh, the other one. I'm sure don't need three hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we'll go with uh, Plan B, which is to use this thing. But 
first, let's get this uh, some of these over here processed. And we'll just use this processor to cut the trees down. That way we can just kind of cut them and process them all at the same time. And then when we finally get enough money built up, well, I'll buy the other uh, fellow buncher. And we'll get back to business on that. Uh, but for right now, this should work out pretty well. We can just drive up to the trees we've already cut and process them. enough <laughs> we'll need to get this road opened up anyway Trying to operate this thing and drive at the same time. I can't believe how easy this thing gets stuck on flat, relatively flat ground. That's ridiculous. I've been thinking about one of these days. I'm gonna put out a uh, wish list for Farming Simulator 19. <laughs> I've got a few things that I could probably put on that list. All right, I think there was one, yeah, one more back over here, maybe two. See if we can get us some trees cut so we can get a little bit more operating room over here, even if it's just at the edges, it really does help.
this ain't working out too good. No, no that didn't work out too good at all. I don't like using this thing as a tree cutter, I really don't. But it's unfortunately about the only thing we got right now unless we go back to a chainsaw, which I guess we could. That wouldn't be terrible. We'll just do that. I want to get some of this cleaned up first. I guess I know what we can do with this tree that's been a problem. We'll just chip it up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm starting not to really like this map much anymore. I don't know, that's, it's, uh, it's really tight. It's, there's not a flat spot on this thing, I don't think, anywhere. It's just really, really tough logging, really. It's hard to log on this map. Tell you what, let's get rid of some of these stumps while we're at it. There we go. Some of these tall ones, anyway. Get rid of them.
All right, that should help. Okay, now let's see if we can't get a few of these trees cut over here. And I think if I cut them just right, they should fall with a good uh, um, point in the right direction, anyway, I'm trying to say. Uh, but you have to cut them just right, I found. See, if, if you move your chainsaw any, it, it won't cut right. It's like if I were to, uh, you know, move it up and down like this or whatever, it, it won't cut right. So if you keep it just a level, it should, the tree should go ahead and fall. There's just a very few times that I've kept it level and it hasn't fallen, so I'm guessing that's the trick. It will sometimes leaves some high stumps, but that's what you got to do. about the floating tree right now. Let's get a few of these over here cut. And let's see, I think I want to work from the back towards the front. So we'll just kind of go right about here. We're doing a little old school cutting today.
Let's see what we got. I'm going to cut just a couple more right back in here and then we'll get busy with some skidding. even see what I'm doing. All right, now let's find our skitter. There we go. We uh, don't have our processor in place, so let's get that set up. All right, now we're good to go. My tractor's in the way now. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know if this is a improvement or not all, all from the other site. We were so tight over there. Oh, don't be doing that. I don't know why that thing keeps trying to come on. I think I know why it keeps trying to come on. I, I've got the. Uh, I'm not playing on the uh, hard difficulty. I'm playing on the the uh, normal. And it could be set to come on when it gets close to a tree. Just like whenever you hop out of a vehicle, it turns off. That could be it. All right, let's just get a couple more skidded up. I think these two right here might be a good one.
get my skitter turned around so we're ready to go for next time with some more logs and yeah, let's get these processed and uh, maybe we can even get that trailer loaded over there not sure what I did with the truck Something put that in there. These big old long trees, golly. Let's get all this cleaned up with the tractor.
I hope that trailer's not in the way. I can't remember uh, how we got back to the sawmill from our new site. I mean, I'm having to move that. Right now, do we have a chip trailer? I thought we did. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Where is that thing at? I'll tell you what, we won't be needing our flatbed for a little while, so let's go find our chip trailer. Probably back down here at the uh, shop. Oh, I, I think I know where it's at. I think we left it up here at the uh, last job site. That's probably where it's at. We should see a dot here. Yep, there it is. That's what it was. even got a bunch of wood chips in it. Uh, oh, and we, we also have our um, fuel, little fuel trailer over here. I remember that. I don't think this thing has an attacher on the back of it now. Okay. We'll come back and get the fuel, fuel trailer later. But for right now, let's, uh, the last thing we'll do for this video is, uh, we're not quite full on wood chips, so we'll go back to our uh, tractor and see if we can't fill this thing up. And then we'll deliver it, and that'll be, that'll be it for this video. We're getting pretty long on time today. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's not even worry about what's in the uh, tractor. We'll just go ahead and deliver this, and we'll call it a video. Yeah, and I really want to uh, really want to do a series where I'm planting a bunch of trees in a plantation-style forestry application. So I may be looking at maps. Uh, 
here pretty soon. I may try to find something uh, where we can take a bunch of fields and plant them in trees. And then we'll probably, well, I may not completely abandon Rattlesnake Valley, but we probably won't do many videos on that one. And we'll concentrate on our wood chip operation on Ridgecrest. We'll work on Rockwood here. I like this map, even though it's a bit of a challenge sometimes, but I'll, I like this map. And then, uh, of course, Pacific Inlet, I want to try to cut that whole map, all the trees that are in the designated areas. I want to cut all those trees and see how many loads it takes. And then on Ridgecrest, we are uh, making wood chips to try to fill up that big bunker at the sawmill. So we got that going. But yeah, I think the, about the only thing we're missing is I'd like to do some kind of plantation style forestry on one map where, I've, where we plant just a ton of trees. And then when they get grown, we'll harvest them in a plantation manner. Which, um, at least for me, around here where I live, what, what they do is they'll plant the trees in, in rows and then uh, they'll let, the, let them get maybe oh, 12, 14 years old, something like that, and they'll come back and do a first thinning and then in about another 10 or 12 years probably they, they come back and do a, a final harvest because uh, the mills around here uh, there is uh, a, let's see, there's a, well, there's a paper mill that takes wood chips. There's a, uh, a, a mill about north where I live, probably about 20 miles, that does uh, press board, which is, you know, your, they, they take the wood chips and, and put a glue and all that stuff in them and then make a particle board out of them. So there's that. And then there's also another mill south of where I live that does, uh, I believe they, they do like plywood and, and I don't think it's lumber, I think it's plywood. And so uh, there's there's that. But anyway, what I was getting at was uh, the mills around here, they don't need big wood. You know, they these uh, Weyerhaeuser uh, is the big one around here, a big company. And, uh, you know, they don't, they don't grow trees to uh, you know, twenty something inches diameter. They they just take the, you know, probably up to about, I don't know, maybe sixteen or eighteen inches, something like that, and they'll cut them down. They don't need big trees. They want that fast turnaround so they can get the maximum number of trees off of the land. So that, I think that's what I'd like to do. On one map, anyway, is do something similar to that. Okay, I think I'm just going to park that right there. Okay, well that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, for any new subscribers, uh, thank you for joining us and watching the videos. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Leave me some comments. But uh, as I was saying, the next video that you'll see on this channel is going to be Pacific Inlet by FDR Logging, High Speed Logging number 3. And that's going to be uh, Wednesday, June the 14th. And I'll probably start going to... Uh, 8 a.m. in the morning instead of my normal 6 p.m. Uh, since uh, I, I realize a lot of the kids are out of school now and I've probably got some youngsters watching this video or my videos so we'll start going to uh, 8 o'clock in the morning that way we can just get it out there a little sooner but uh, anyway hope you enjoy this video and the high speed login this, which will be next video so until next time this is Jonathan on Rockwood we'll see you next time